Well, hello there. How's it going? I'm starting a little late tonight. Um, but I'm going to go pretty late, I think. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about what's going on here. I spent all of my free time today and this evening, uh, working on villagers. And I am pleased to say that um, we've got all but two of the enchantments now that we were shooting for and happened upon a couple others that I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have. So I didn't keep re-rolling and I kept those. So uh, blast protection is one of the examples of one I wasn't going for, but in the hundreds of times I've re-rolled these lecterns, I only saw that's the third time I saw that one. So I thought, you know, I might not see it again for a long time. If I ever do want it, let's grab it. And I had that experience with a couple. We finally got Unbreaking 3. Um, we have Flame here, which you may remember we had a villager over on this side who had Flame twice. He was our second villager. He used to be right here. Well, I'm trying to, yeah, there we go. We fired him. Yeah. Um, and then we got efficiency five. I misspelled aqua right there, didn't I? Silly me. There we go. Uh, we now have respiration. None of these changed over here. Still got our farmers and fletchers. Well, we have all these enchantments now. So we have protection four and blast protection four. I actually plan on using protection for um we still don't have fire protection for and we still don't have smite but those are the only two that i'm presently trying to get that i don't have but i'm not gonna mess with villagers anymore today and i didn't feel like doing any of that on camera um i didn't end up making a walkway from one side to the other out of glass so golems iron golems still can't spawn up there but i can just walk from side to side instead of going up and down up and down every time it's a little more convenient that way i started um taming the cats that the villagers naturally spawn because um, i'm going to need them for the creeper farm um let me think i need I think I'm going to try to get seven. Um, for the farm. We'll, we'll start with that. And if we're happy with it, we'll stop there. And if not, we'll, we'll build it up more. Um, I also have acquired more villagers from different biomes. So we have more outfit variants as I'll show you now. Oh, perfect. They're all laying down. So that is, uh, We'll just go down here. Jungle. And we already knew about Savannah and Swamp. And this guy is the Tundra next to our already familiar Taiga. Um, I'm still getting probably at least... I haven't actually figured it out, but it seems like about 50% return uh, are still Plains Villagers, even with no Plains Villager in here. 
I'm going to go get one more variant. I'm not doing it tonight. That will be jungle. And then my plan is to have two of each variant and the as breeders and hopefully having two will increase the likelihood of us getting something other than a plains villager and i'm gonna build actually something for that but i'm not doing it tonight i've had my fill of villagers today but i'll show you where i'm going to build it and that is right up here it's just going to be a real small building and up here is where we'll breed them i think i will get the jungle variant before i begin that but i i got some materials in here to to build that and that might become a temporary i mean a permanent structure though the facade of it may change over time um I still haven't decided if I'm making it an automatic breeder or one that I just sort of turn on and by feeding them myself. Basically, I can have a farmer feed them and get them to breed, which will happen constantly. Or I can feed them whenever I want them to breed and have it happen. And then, but then I have to wait 20 minutes every time I, I do it. Um, and it comes down to, do I feel like doing all of this stuff to automate it? Or would I rather just wait 20 minutes <laughs> every time I want? The, e either one is kind of annoying. I I just don't like building villager breeders. It's not very interesting or fun to me. Um, uh, not that any of this has been either, but this is necessary. So, But we're almost done with this phase, and then we can start moving on to our grand building projects. Um... So what are we going to do tonight? Let's talk about that. Um, I am going to go to the nether again. To the warp forest. And we're going to get a little further into the warp forest. And see if we can uh, snag ourselves some endermen. Um, and uh, get ender pearls out of that. And once we have what it feels like... A sufficient amount to me and what that amount will be i don't know i'll just decide when i decide we'll switch over to getting blaze rods and i won't make any predictions beyond those two things depends on depending on how quickly they go it's dependent on whether or not we do anything else tonight so let's gear up Um, I have looting three, so it should be easier to get ender pearls now. I also caught a stray. It's a zombie variant that shoots poison arrows that slow you down. They're in snowy biomes. Um, when I was trying to get the tundra villager, I guess technically they're called snowy villagers now. Um... That's when I got him. Yep. One more variant to go. Anyway. Let's head to that warped forest. And see. How many pearls we can get. I still haven't uh, enchanted my gear the way I want, but a lot of it I can. The only thing I can't do at the moment that I want to do is put fire protection on my armor and Usually I put smite on my axe. Smite is a enchantment that helps kill the undead. So it's sort of, I use my, I alternate between my sword and my axe, depending on what I'm fighting. Because an axe can be used as a tool and a weapon. 
So I have my sword set up for basically everything but undead, and I have my axe set up specifically for undead, and that way I don't have to worry about inventory management as much. A lot of people think the smite enchantment isn't that great. Um, I like it. I don't really know what the stats are. But also, I don't have a lot of trouble fighting mobs. I don't enjoy it, but it's just not ever been very difficult for me, so... It's not something I struggle with or seek out. And I forgot to check. I was going to go see if the hardest enchantment for me to get on, on my last long-term world was Smite 5. I'm pretty sure it is. And now here I am again with it being the second to last enchantment for me to get. I have seen Fire Protection 3 several times. But I have yet to land Fire Protection 4. have been getting the curse enchantments a lot today as well as the trident and crossbow enchantments I saw all three of those types over and over and over and when the time finally comes and I want to try an enchantment watch what will happen and I won't get any and I wish I had done it now but I'm also trying not to get every single enchantment now because I want uh, I want there to be some some left so I have more more variation in my librarians and I need more varied villagers to do that. Okay, so here's where our thing was yesterday. Um. Let's go ahead and just like oh dear. We have a much better sword now. Um I didn't make the sword I would normally make because I figured I'd just use this one for the time being. The important thing is that it has looting on it. And it packs a better punch than the one we had yesterday. Oh, and it worked. We got three pearls out of that. Yesterday, we killed three Endermen, I think, and got no pearls. No, no, we got two, but I wanted those for Ender Chests. Um, let's venture down here a little further. And there's just not a, a good way to get down there, is there? We'll have to make one. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Uh, 
let's venture a little farther in. So where they're congregating and build another little shelter where they can we can kill them from. close uh if we hadn't misplaced that one we would have had a perfect amount okay now let's get rid of this part you also don't have to look at them to aggro them you can just hit them with your sword if you get close enough better luck tonight. Well, I think he might have teleported away and died. That's too bad. All right, we got seven now. This is going so much better than, than yesterday. That is wonderful. Oh, eight. I didn't even see that one there. Um, is that one up there? He might be too far away for us to upset. Yeah, he obviously is. Well, let's go over here. Right on the edge of a biome here. Really would like to get that glowstone. That's not what we're here for. Let's stay focused. It must be on top of the trees or something. Oh, there's one. Well, didn't get lucky that time. That's okay. Some of these entities I'm seeing might be um, magma cubes like up there. 
the nether variant of the slime. several yeah you dropped three yeah this is going so much better i'm i'm glad we have looting three now it really does make a difference It'd be easier if the Forest are a little bigger. Maybe if we can get more centrally into it, we'll run into more Endermen. That's just the edge of it, though. Looks like another wastes. Over this way. Yep. It is not the biggest forest. But I'm glad we found it at all. The problem is, since it's so small, there's other things that are close enough to spawn, and that's affecting the mob cap. I think preventing them from being all over the place, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Oh, there's one. she would come back maybe we'll tease him a little and he'll, he'll show up or maybe we killed him and he teleported elsewhere because they can do that you can strike the death blow and they teleport before they die and then die out of sight. Right, now we got 12. So that's enough to unlock the end portal. And it may spawn with Eyes of Endure in there already. We won't know till we get there how many we need, but 12 is the most we can need. In my experience, most of them have two or three when you arrive. But I've run into a couple that had none. But then we need more than 12 because we have to use them to find it and they can break uh, in the course of using them to find it. I would like to have more. be up there oh here's one oh 
All right. We got a full stack. Ender pearls only stack up to 16 instead of 64. Let's find oh there's one. And I can't shoot them with arrows. When you shoot an Enderman with an arrow, they just teleport out of the way at the last second. I I think the game is hard coded for them to not be able to be hit by arrows. Which uh Doc M 77 recently exploited um, in such a way that by trapping them in a boat as we've done with numerous other mobs and then having a mechanism uh, shoot an arrow at them it tricks the game That it still misses the Enderman, but it reads the arrow in a different way that causes it to travel thousands of blocks. And the way arrows work is the longer they travel, the harder they hit. So Doc Hen was able to trick Scar into standing in the spot where the arrow would reappear thousands of blocks later. <laughs> upon being fired and the arrow hits so hard that not only did Scar die from the arrow, his armor was destroyed. There was, of course, more to it than that, but that's about as well as I can explain it. You'll have to watch Doc M's video for a, a more thorough explanation. And if we had an elytra, we could we could explore this a little better. But that's why we're here. To this is the first steps to finding an elytra. Well, these guys you can shoot with an arrow. And he will turn into four smaller ones now. And each of these will turn into... Oh, I guess he did, he did three instead of four. I think that happens sometimes. And then these all turn into smaller ones as well. But the ones this size just die. And these just not to not be very threatening but I haven't really read up on it but just in my experience they seem to be faster and harder to kill than they were before the nether update um, you have to crouch on magma cube uh, it's these blocks here the magma blocks um, in order to not sustain damage from them. Um, that's why I'm walking all weird. And um, this magma cream, I think it's called. Um, we can use that in potions. Where is our uh, little thing? Here it is. Oh, there's a strider out there. Hey, buddy. Much like with the bees and wandering traders, there is a hermit craft 
texture pack that will turn striders into looking like ZF. And as I, I'm sure I mentioned before, ZF makes me laugh harder than just about anyone on YouTube. And I really want to use it, but at the same time, I really like how the striders look, so I'm kind of torn. I wish they'd do something else with him, maybe related to pigs, because he's done so much crazy stuff playing around with pigs. Um, I'd like to see more the hermits. Uh, be... Uh, used in the same way uh well not used but you know their their exploits and whatnot be referenced in texture packs like um corrales and azuma have been with the bees and the wandering trader uh, i mean zf himself did turn all the striders into himself or uh, well, basically it was his face on two legs um just i just like that they they're so interesting looking to me i don't want to change them but then i go back and forth because and i'll put the texture pack on and then i i, I really like it as well so i don't know it might be that it's just a little too far away from vanilla for me to decide to go all in on it whereas wandering azuma doesn't really look that different from was well, technically wandering B Zuma, but he still doesn't look that different from the wandering trader and B Rallis doesn't look that different from a B. It's just a B with Corrales's eyes and mouth really. Um but the ZF texture really does change the striders quite a bit. At the moment, I'm thinking if we just get 12 more, we can make that work. Oop, there's a guy. I think, I think we uh, upset him. We sure did. three more i think we had four before that whatever the case it's a few more so i'll take it i bet it's these guys taking up the mob cap right here But we're still not doing that bad. It's not as good as I, I would I would hope, and it's not as good as I would expect it to be in a larger warp forest. But it's so much better than yesterday that I don't find it to be intolerable. But I would like to move on to the blaze rods fairly soon. And we're going to need 16 of those. But with looting on our sword, looting three, I do not expect that to take long. Though I do expect to die a time or two. That's okay.
mobs to move around and get them to spawn as well because I think they can't spawn within a certain radius. I don't remember what it is. I want to say 32 blocks. I think they have to spawn between 32 and 128 blocks away from you. And in a biome this small, that doesn't give them much opportunity. Especially when the mob cap is being taken up by stuff like that. this way and see what we get. I didn't like it over here because of these these spots are not ideal for what we're trying to do. can grow and when it's in the two by two size as well and when you plant that like that it, it also grows taller just like the spruce does I want to say the crimson uh, does that too uh, I can't remember for sure but it seems like it does well, they don't always grow that tall if you do it that way. Sometimes they only grow as tall as the dark oak. The uh, other 4x4 four four tree. Or rather 2x2 two two tree. Okay. Um, uh, oh, there's one. Let's make sure we know where our... There it is. Okay. Get a scout drop three or four of them. I think the max they can drop is four. All right, we got two. But, uh, I think I'm going to. to the blazes now we don't i wanted to get 32 let's see how close we get to finding it with what we have i'm also not sure where my exit is <laughs> as is something that happens fairly often in the we just go high up enough to where we can hopefully see it I put, that's why I put all those torches on the wall. I don't see any of the torches I put on the wall, though. I'm going to presume it's south because we came from... We were heading north. That's, uh...
or if we can see our weird steps we made on various trees out of another accent might give us a clue as to where we should be going to. I think it might be up there. Hold on, we'll know momentarily. It's not right either. Okay. It's right over here. Also going too high, it might be down there. I mean, worst case, we'll just uh, get up to Y116 and head towards our waypoint. I am uh, I am not adverse to doing that if necessary. I think we built that right there. So. And there's a torch. Yeah. We're at the right place. Wonderful. We'll look around up on this level real quick before we leave. Let's see if there's any other Endermen we can aggro into chasing us. Can we get him? Maybe. We'll see if he comes over here. Sometimes our pathfinding gets a little wonky in situations like this where the terrain is just so all over the place. But he found us. Well, <laughs> was that it? I guess that was it. Watch him come out of nowhere. I I, I hear him. Alright, let's go back to the thing. I just have to make a dash for it. So he's being a little weird. Mm. 
can swing it up here. He can't come up here because he's too tall. All right, let's head back. Let's kill some blazes. We're going to need um, 12, 13 blaze rods. Because each blaze rod will make two blaze powder and we need blaze powder to it's one blaze powder and one uh, ender pearl to make eye of enders and I'm pretty sure I remember where the blaze spawner is um, if I'm mistaken I'm sure it will reveal it self to us very quickly a lot of people won't go into the nether without a shield and that's really smart but uh, coming from bedrock we didn't have shields for the longest time and by the time they were finally were introduced I was just so used to not having one, I never picked one up, and I always forget about them. Um, I don't even know if they work against fire, though, to tell you the truth. They, they probably do, I mean... I don't know. Another reason I don't think about them much is I don't think there are any enchantments for a shield, except maybe mending and unbreaking, but you can put that on pretty much anything. I mean, technically, you can put any enchantment on anything. For the most part, there are some examples that are ex exceptions. There at least you used to be able to. Like, I mean, you could you could put unbreaking on a door. Not that a door would break, but you could still enchant it, and then it would have the enchantment glimmer, like you can see my sword has. And that was really, I guess, the only reason to do it. Hey, bud, you dropped that. Well, now that it's not so overcrowded, we can finally do this as well. Before we go and kill a bunch of blazes, let's uh, let's save our stuff. And then we'll keep those in the hot bar just in case we need to, you know, pillar up or build a defensive wall or something of that nature which is very likely to happen anything unless it fell down oh it did fall down there see I like I prefer to fight these guys with a sword but I don't I mean with a bow but I don't have looting on my bow all right let's go find the spawner I think it was that oh that's our wither skeleton friend hey buddy it's our other wither skeleton friend. I don't think I'm going the right way at all. 
Because I blocked all this off, so it couldn't have been this one. This guy too. I haven't even found the spawner yet, and we already got half the blaze rods we need. So that's nice. I'm just gonna do this so that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Or at least worry as much. We should continue to worry about it. We should continue to worry about everything that we see. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing all that at once. No, thank you. Ah! That startled me. Well, I don't remember how to get to the blaze spawner. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to walk around and kill regular spawning blaze, I guess. nice if they weren't hovering over lava while we did it. If we can kite him in here, maybe we can get his drops instead of them falling uselessly into the lava below. I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna take the bait. I think this is the same way we already came. It's not the right way to go. Yes, it is. Yes, let let's also do that there. Lucky, we'll get a skull. Nope, just coal. Oh, there it is. recover and regroup I think there's one right there I don't think that smoke is just I'm not going down there though I'll get trapped I mean I could probably make it out but I'm still not going down there
Okay, we have all the blaze rods we need. Let's get out of here. Oh, I meant to put that out. Okay. So now, if we can make it back, which I'm fairly confident we will at this point, being that we're no longer in another fortress and nothing is chasing us, we can make the uh, eyes of Ender and we can begin our search for the stronghold and the end portal. can leave all this behind them. well most of it anyway all right we made it so let's just turn all this into blaze powder Yeah. Oh, I also got more diamonds, but I mined them with silk touch so that I can mine them with fortune later. Threw an egg into the sun. Oh. Wow. I'm really glad I recorded that. Or no one would believe me that it ever happened. <laughs> There's a 1 in 256 chance for that to happen. And for me to throw it straight up and for it to land on me. Uh, it's a, that was a unique experience. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's sleep. Gotta shriep. As the old saying goes. So. I suppose I should re-up on the chicken. Before we head out. Though where we're going will be not even half as dangerous as. Oops. As where we just were. Though, if we do find the stronghold, uh, we may wish that we had more torches with us than, than that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to where uh, our boat is. I'm going to toss one of these guys, see where it goes, and then I'm going to head in that direction in the boat. If we're lucky, it will go behind me and this will know the stronghold is uh, somewhere on the island. <laughs> well, we'll hope it is. I guess there's a chance it could be outside the world border, but I'm thinking since I made it 2,500, uh, with a, that's a total of 5,000 from side to side that actually it's impossible for it to be outside. I don't remember what the exact spawning mechanics are of, of strongholds because... It was different on Bedrock, and it's changed a couple of times. So anyway. Let's toss this thing and see what happens. I did not see where it went. Let's go up here and see if it came up here. Oh, it came up here.
Okay. All right. And these can break. Um, and whether or not they do, I believe is totally random. I'm not sure what the percentage of the chance is each time. And I don't think it's like they wear out. I think it's, you have the same chance for them to break every time you throw it. So I'm taking my boat in case it's on a, like really far away. Um, and not on the island. I'm going to go, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the other side of the island and throw it again and then see what happens. Because we only have... Um, 13 chances to get this but before we need to get more I mean I guess we could use all 25 to find it it's just a matter of when we get there we won't be able to open it if we don't have enough and as I was saying we won't know how much is enough until we get there so I would prefer to just have 12 with us in case enough happens to be 12 no it can't happen twice in a row It didn't even hit me that time. Any who's will be. It appears that the stronghold is in this direction. This is what we were saying. So. It'd be pretty, pretty nice if it was under the island. And there's there can there's more than one stronghold in every world. It's um they're spread around kind of like in rings it used to be, but I can't remember if that was on Java or Bedrock and then it changed to something else and I or it or that's what it changed to. I don't remember. Um anyway, let's throw another one to see what happens. Hopefully it's not on the other side of the world border. Did that one break? I think that one broke. Which is unfortunate, being that it was in the water. You'd think that's the one time it wouldn't break. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um... I'm hoping it's not too far this way because the uh, world border is coming up. If that's the case, we're going to have to go kind of far away from here and throw it again and hope it detects a different one. Or we'll have to open up the world border. But I'm not. I'm not ready to give up. On that yet. Maybe it'll be in between these two ocean monuments. Oh there's a weird corrupt junk we need to fix. We'll do that another time. Yeah this isn't. This isn't what we want at all. Uh oh, he has a trident. Jeez. Why is he still hitting us? Yeah, there is some chunk corruption here. I saw it. I fixed all of it. Looks like I missed a little spot. I can fix it later. That's not a problem. Oh, 
Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have to go to the other side of the, the world and try it from there and hopefully we get a different one. Um... Yep, let's do that. Okay. Oh, they're not all outside the world border. I know there's that Savannah Island with the village. Maybe we can... That's sort of a halfway point between our island and the mainland. Maybe that'd be another good place to give it a shot. See if uh, we can detect a different stronghold from, from there. Maybe that's far enough away. That's where we'll head. Actually, this island's so big. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, <laughs> it'll be faster to just go across. Let's do that. Well, it's too bad it's not under our island. That would have been really convenient. Once we do find it, uh, I think our very first um, nether tunnel that's specifically to a thing will be there. And that'll save us some time getting there. Um, you know, it probably would be smart to take a bed with us. Let's head back north on our island. Grab a bed. And then we'll continue. Well, what is that? That's impossible. That can't happen. Oh, well. I guess it did. Was that home? No, that's just lava. I saw the light and thought maybe we were close. I'm eating chicken now. You guys, uh, you guys cool with that? Instead of the steak? You're not affiliated with... You're not chick fil with anything. <laughs> oh, man, that was not a good one. I think we may have to make a bed, actually. Don't know that I have any that I could take. Or, on the other hand, I could just take one from that village. Let's do that. 
now that I've walked almost all the way back to our home. But hey, uh, at least we uh, we got our, our eyes of Ender, so. Much more productive with that looting sword than without. I'm getting a little lag, though. It's like a little, not even lag, it's like a little stutter every five or ten seconds. It's annoying. There it was again. And again. Well, now it seems not as bad. Maybe, well, I keep speaking too soon, I guess. How are we doing on location? Need to go south. May need to restart my game because this is annoying. I may take a break here in the next few minutes and use that opportunity to restart. But before we do that, let's get to the island, make it daytime. And then see what uh, what direction these things go, and if they change direction at all. Oh my! I'm really it's really stuttering now. That's that's unplayable. I like that. I'm not I'm not dealing with that, man. All right. Okay, now it's going that way. It's going south now. So it's picked up a different one. That's good. But, oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Did you see that stutter? Yeah, that's, I don't want to play like that. And no one wants to watch that either. Um, I'm going to take a short break. And when we come back, that stutter will be gone.
Okay, I'm back. The stutter seems to have uh, been overcome. I just uh, closed the game and restarted it again. Um, I slept in that bed in the event that the best case scenario happens, which is we find the stronghold, we have enough eyes of ender to go in it and we defeat the dragon when you defeat the dragon you then exit the end and it puts you back at your spawn point but um the last spawn point i used uh, i'm not sure if it's still there or not <laughs> I can't remember which bed I slept in last, but at least I know this one's close to home. Um, let's toss it again and see what happens. Throw it right at that ship. Wait. Okay, it sounded like I picked it up again, but I had 25 and now I have 24. Um, did it fall in the... I'm confused. I, I'm not sure where it went. Maybe that was the sound of it breaking and I was looking in the wrong direction. Okay. So let's not throw it at the shit. Let's throw it this way. Okay. Oh. It did break. But. I'm thinking. Hold on. Did it go back to the island? Does that mean it's somewhere? But let's throw another one and see what happens. I don't see it. But I'm sure it didn't break. Didn't see it break. There it is. Alright, so we'll keep going this way. That appears to be this way. Still wants us to go that way. I didn't see if it broke or not, though. It sounded like it may have. I don't see it. We'll keep going this way. Oops. Well, I'm glad neither of those broke. That's good. Looks like we're still not there. They're still... They're still heading this way. 
I really hope this one's in the world border, though. <laughs> Let's take a look. Where are we? Okay. Um, wouldn't it be something, though, if it was... If it was under if one of the smaller mushroom islands. All right. All right. Let's try again. All right, we caught it. Okay, that's home. I hope it's not pulling us in the same one as before, and I'm just not catching that that's what's happening. It appears we need to continue going south. This is much more difficult when it's in the water because you have to go looking for it every time instead of just finding it on the ground. I don't see it. Maybe it broke. I didn't hear it break. I was sure I saw it in the water. But I don't see it. All right. Keep heading south. Uh-oh, we're getting the world border again. Don't see it. I hate losing them like that. Just, now we've only got eight to spare. How close are we to the world border? Now we're getting close. I'm out of room this way. Uh, if this if if this didn't work, then I'm gonna head to the middle of the map and yeah, there's the world border. Wow, that went down pretty quick. 
far. Um, okay. Let's head to the middle of the map and throw it. I have a feeling more time in the warp forest is in store, though. ahead basically to uh, our starter shack that we made on the flower forest the very first night I think we'll have an easier time on land. Pretty cool. I, I doubt it's really that way. I bet it train just isn't finished. Yeah, train's not finished generating. It did look cool though. You know, it might be easier if I do this. Yeah, that's a little, a little easier to see what's going on. I know it's not as bright on the broadcast as um, it is on my actual computer screen. Nope. Went over a, uh, went over some magma. We're almost ready to tackle the ocean monument in our lake as well. Um, we have all the enchantments we need to do it. So that, that's something we might tackle fairly soon as well. Um, once we get to the, the end, the first thing we have to do is of course kill the dragon the dragon will be there immediately upon our arrival and we'll have to fight it then the next thing most people want to do myself included is venture to the outer islands of the end and get an elytra but we have another obstacle to overcome with that which is um we don't have any rockets so the elytra is not going to be as useful as you know, it would be if we did. So we're going to have to build a sugar cane farm and a creeper farm. And we still need to build the facade of the iron farm. We still need to build the village of trader hall. And then, you know, if I'm going to live in the ocean monument, we need to drain it, defeat it, or rather defeat it and then drain it and uh these are uh these are all things that need to be done there are things i would like to be done 
now, but it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while. I may not go if I unlock the end. I may not go in it. I'm I'm thinking I might actually just make some new gear. Enchant it exactly how I want it to be enchanted. And then go. Where am I? I was not expecting to run into whatever this is. Oh, this is a lake. So if I head due north, I will hit our starter shack. A pretty flower forest. I think it's right on the other side of this mountain. This is where we came and experimented with uh, planting trees in a meadow, as I recall, to get well, bee nests. Because we did not understand at the time that the 100% rate only occurs on trees that spawn there naturally, not on trees that are planted there. Oh, pillagers, and there are five of them. So, if I kill that guy with the banner, he's the pillager captain, I'm going to get a status effect called Bad Omen. Meaning, if I enter a village with Bad Omen, it will trigger a raid in which more of these guys will come and attack the village as well as some of their counterparts um, these things called vindicators and these things called evokers which do these magic things that result in like spikes coming out of the ground and these little imp like things called vexes they uh they fly around and attack you um these giant things that look kind of like a, a really big bull they will uh they'll come and attack you and they can actually break blocks um and since we're playing on hard there will be seven waves of these attacks and we must defeat all of them within an hour which is not a problem so much in that it's difficult to defeat defeat these things not not that it's easy because it's not but um, it is what i will call a reasonable challenge it's it's doable there's our shack um Anyway, uh, the hard the hardest part for me has always been when the pillagers spawn in caves underneath where you are and you can't find them because they're in some random pocket not connected to anything else. Uh, 
but you have an hour to beat all seven waves and provided that doesn't happen you can usually beat them in just a few minutes and you can actually exploit this mechanic and create what's called a raid farm which is something we'll definitely do because one of the best things you can get from a raid is they drop totems on undying which you can hold in your offhand much like i'm doing with the torch right now and if you die well you don't we're back home we made it well not our home our home away from home there's our first pick How about that all right Let's go. There's a hill back over this way. Let's get up on the hill and just throw this thing and see what happens. Because as I recall, the actual spawn location on this world was right by this hill. I think my, my our, our back was to it when we when we first came here. We were like we were like right right around here looking at like tulips the red tulips it was somewhere like right around here like we're within probably 20 blocks of of the actual spawn spot but in, in the spot we're standing here and um that would and and that spawn spot is what i based the the world border on um so the top of this hill is not exactly the central spot it's probably 50 to 100 blocks off of it but within the context of there being 5,000 blocks it's not a meaningful difference uh at least i don't think it is so we're just gonna go up here and toss this thing straight in the air and see where it goes and then we will head that direction as well okay here we go going this way all right so we'll go this way too so i wonder i want to check something before i because if it, it's probably silly it's probably nothing but if i don't check i'm gonna always wonder until i come back and check and since i'm i'm right here wondering i'll just do it now okay since we're so centrally located i was just wondering like are all of the strongholds equidistant from this point and if so will facing in a different direction make the thing go in a different direction but that did not seem to be a the case again i don't remember exactly what the spawning rules are for the stronghold i probably should have looked that up before we started doing this but i didn't expect them to, to, to the eyes of ender to lead me to the world border um like twice <laughs> certainly not twice you know i, I thought I, I thought it was a possibility it might happen once, but not, but not twice. Okay. So I'll keep going this way for now.
one thing I almost wondered out loud earlier. But I never finished the sentence, and, and now I'm also curious about that. To look it up when it's safe to do so. But there was one moment where the Ender Pearl broke. Or no, I think it didn't break. Actually, I don't remember if it broke or not. But a bunch of purple particles came out of it. And I, and I, I thought to myself, I wonder if that means something. Are we close? But then we threw it again, and it went farther away instead of staying right there. So it made me think, okay, maybe that doesn't mean anything. But then it only had those purple particles that one time. So does that mean something? Oh, it went this way. Oh, man, did you get on the tree? Did you break? Oh, no, we found it. Okay. So now it's saying go this way. Wait, isn't... Did I get turned around? We were already going west, weren't we? Never mind. Jeez, man. I am all turned around, I guess. Not knowing exactly how this thing works, I guess, is the price of having done it in like four of those five years. This is some pretty cool thing. Digging this. All right, let's try again. So go on west. Round swamp. I think this is that weird swamp that has the beach in the middle with the witch hut. Well, I have no idea where it went. I didn't see it. Um, there's that purple stuff again. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to Google that because now I'm, I'm curious. Okay, that's just part of its animation. That makes sense too, I guess.
but I'm not seeing where it's going when I've thrown it the last couple of times, which makes me wonder, am I just sleepy? <laughs> or am I close and it's going into the ground? How am I not seeing it? I am so confused. I don't know how I missed that. We still got five to spare. I really hope it's not in a mangrove swamp. Because these things are laggy. They're pretty, but they're laggy. Well, I saw it go through the trees, but I didn't see where it landed. Hmm. I will probably not find that one. It's going to be hard to follow through here. Maybe I should get to the other side of these mangroves and before I throw it, another one. Or I'm going to lose them all, because now I've only got four to spare. Unless we're really, really lucky. I don't know if I've been to this this one before or not. I don't remember it. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, I don't see it yet. Okay. Um, let's just get through this forest and then we'll throw another one and see what happens. I do really like the color of the water here. It's pretty. All right. Well, hey, bud. Closer are we to the world border? Oh, we're getting... Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, it's getting kind of late. I might, uh... I might call it a night here pretty soon. Maybe we can pick this up again in the morning or afternoon. Of course, if I if I do find it here, I'm gonna want to go down and dig into the stronghold and walk all around it. So I might be here another hour. We'll see.
Well, that didn't go very far. Aren't they supposed to go far than that? Or does that mean we're close? Throw another one. Okay, I'll we'll keep going then. Oh, good. Kelp. That's just what I needed right now. It's going to be hard to see this thing in the jungle, too. And not as hard as a mangrove, though. Oops. Well, I was hoping I would catch it. I would get there before it fell in the water. No. All right, we're getting close to the world border again. It better be real, real soon, or that's a problem. And we'll have to find a different one, which is not really what I want to do, being that this is the third one we've chased. Is that a jungle temple or is that just a mountain in the distance? I believe that's a jungle temple. I hadn't found one of those yet. Neat. I haven't, I haven't done one of these in ages. I don't actually remember the uh I don't remember the correct order for these. I'm not really in the mood to do it right now. Plus there's not really anything ever in these that is worth the trouble. We'll come back and do it later, maybe. I, I, I might um Relieve it of its sticky pistons. Right now. I just want to find the, the stronghold, which... Is probably on the other side of the world border. Again, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's it for me. I'm going to go to bed and I will resume the search 
for the stronghold tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. I've been Captain Incredulous, and you've been wonderful. Good night.